god i love the look of that truck okay guys welcome back today let's do a walkthrough of what i have what is on the go and what are we doing with the channel so as you see let's start off with this beautiful car 2011 camaro ss you might have seen it in adam lz's burnout video did really good unfortunately today is not its day so we've had three accidents in two weeks kind of crazy let's look at this one oh god i didn't even want to look at it oh you will see here that's you know we have that nice little awesome you know just in case you want to whatever so there's not really much to say about this um front lip is off as you see you will see that there is damage through there damage through there the fender is a complete write-off the door is a complete write-off the tire is a write-off the rim is a write-off this is what happens when you have someone that's a little older and senile and think that he's in the right away and he's gonna run me off the road uh, FYI he wasn't in the right away and he was ticketed but unfortunately that's what I have kind of sucks to be honest so I said three accidents in two weeks let's talk about the second accident luckily it's not the truck I don't drive the truck trucks not even done but it's on the channel it's not the 91 Camaro I haven't driven that since I got out of storage probably should sell that so let's go to the next car for anyone that is new or not familiar this was a car i bought for two thousand dollars twin turbo sho all-wheel drive so the first accident was a young driver decided to back into a parking spot and clip the back of the car that's not bad i bought a door we're gonna do a video on that we're gonna have some fun we're gonna paint that but after we were driving it well a deer hit it voila so as you see we have broken headlight with some yummy deer hair embedded got some damage to the hood damage to the bumper we have damage to the window we have what's left of deer hair deer meat i don't know it is what it is so that is the two accidents three accidents with that let's show you what this is so for anyone that isn't familiar this is gonna be this winter's project just because we've been extremely busy and what it is is it is a honda fit but why would a honda fit have drag racing markings and all that fun stuff well it is a j swap fit let's see if i can pop this hood So here we have our Honda Fit J Swap that we got for free. <laughs> Usually, if people give you something for free, it's not worth having, but this is probably not the case, obviously. So, we're gonna end up fixing this, guys. We're gonna put it on the road and we are gonna have ourselves a J Swap Fit. Not only is it J-Swap, it does have the nitrous bottle. Right now, it's actually just a... Oh, well, it's a spot for car parts. Yeah, it really is. So we have one, we have two. I gotta paint that one now. We have three, we have four, we have five with the orange Camaro. We'll get to those two cars after. We'll scroll over here, guys. And what you'll see here is our 2011 Camaro SSRS convertible, six speed. It's just a beater. To be honest, we just drive it around. We get back here. You have not seen this yet. This is our ply lot, our plywood holder. All jokes aside, guys, this is a 90, 2005 PP Cruiser turbo convertible. And uh, that will be on the channel with some mods. This is my parts shelf. I say that, but it really isn't. So. You see, this is our SRT4, guys. It was big turbo, S256, 430 horsepower on low boost. This year, we did the wrap on it. 
once I did the wrap on it, I got it inspected and I told, took the motor and transmission out to go bigger, go with an automatic, go with 600 horsepower and the motor we bought was no good. The car has been sitting. So we had the motor for many years in our basement and the guy that sold it to us, you know, it wasn't what it was supposed to be. So that put this project pretty well on hold. I could put it back to the S256, but I don't want to, but I'm at the point now, um, I found a carbon fiber shell. I kind of want to buy if I could sell this. So I've been thinking about putting this back to stock, obviously a stock a stock can be on this car and selling it and buying the carbon fiber shell and having some fun. That's totally up in the air. Okay, so if anyone doesn't know, this was a project that was supposed to be the S256 uh, PTGT turbo swap. Now, in the last video of this car, guys, uh, it had a lot more damage than uh, expected. Uh, up in the right-hand corner if you wanna check it out. So I put it on the back burner and I said in that video that I was gonna junk the car, which really hurt my feelings because it was the last car my dog was in before he passed away with cancer. So um, to be honest, I'm fixing it. So I'm gonna go S256. I'm gonna go five speed and have some fun with it. I'm gonna show you what we did. We bought two full half cars. So we are going to cut the quarter panels out and the rockers is one and change it with these ones. We'll fix the major rust issue that we had in the rockers and quarter panels and that will put this back on the road. And we do have air ride for this. Here is our, you have not seen this yet, our free Prius. We're going to uh, end up uh, just getting it on the road, inspect it, sell it, try to make some money. And back here that you really don't see, which is actually quite a shame. I need to uh, get over here and weed eat. It's our 59 Al Camino that we're gonna restore. I should say it like this, restore. That is the plan. I wanna get that out sooner than later. And here guys, if you're not familiar, it's been on the channel quite a bit, is my 1995 neon, nitro yellow green neon, NYG ACR that I painted here. We did retrofits. We undercoated, well not undercoated, we power coated everything and we had a lot of fun. So you will even see like, uh, if I show you in here, we have the power coated calipers, the backing plates, the rims we did. It was a full restoration on a car that was only 63 built with those options, that color and that make. So we wanted to keep it. Okay, so this is a project that we are working on right now. We're videoing as we speak. And basically we're going for 300 horsepower on a next and no budget. And uh, we're gonna drag race some people and then Cut the car up, I think. Who knows? We'll, let, we'll figure it out. Back here hiding is Jeff's Neon NYG ACR. One of 93 made as a Dodge. Why would it be sitting back here? Well, Jeff uh, had a little trouble with the law. We'll just say that much. And it's sitting for this year. Yeah, it's probably the best bet. <laughs> if you didn't hear the story, what happened was me and him were driving. I was in my green one. He was in his. Um, we might have been slightly over the speed limit. Um, they didn't catch me, but they caught him. Needless to say, his car is parked for a while. So we do have our barn find, our local barn find, a 1998 Dodge Neon Roadster, the Honda Civic front end. Really unsure what's going to happen with this car, guys. And then we'll scroll back here and the last car, well, here's the door to the Ford to replace the one that's damaged before the deer hit it. Here is the reason why most of you guys are here. If you look at that floor, Jeff, through the camera, it just, oh, it pops. This is our 1999 or 2000? It's a 99. I don't know. It's it's car. This is our car. Thank you for joining us, guys. We'll catch you next time. No, all, all jokes aside, this is our Honda Civic U. It is dusty. It is dirty. It's been sitting for so long. The floor is pretty well done. We still gotta do our bed liner, build a few things, put the interior back in, and then you scroll over here. Man, she's dirty. We have our motor. So D-Series VTEC is very dark in here, so you're not really gonna see much, but we will show you that sometime. As you guys see, there's cars everywhere. It's a disaster. Um, leave a comment. What would you guys wanna see? I I kind of want to buy that carbon fiber SRT, downsize some cars, have some fun, 
maybe take our supercharged Camaro to the next level, 800 horsepower, 900 horsepower, and uh, have some fun, start doing some drag racing. Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below guys. Thanks for checking us out and we'll definitely catch you on the next one.